Okay, in this video, we will explain how to do the face portrait when we have a saddle. Let me write that, face portrait and when we have a saddle. And the linear system looks like this, the x dt equal to ax plus by, dy dt equal to cx plus dy, the matrix of the system is the matrix A, B, C, and D. And the characteristic equation is the equation lambda squared minus the trace of A times lambda plus the determinant of A equals zero. And if we have a saddle, it's because the solution of this equation is like this. One is positive and the other one is negative. The eigenvalues, we have one negative eigenvalue and a positive eigenvalue. Then, to start the process of doing the face portrait, we need to find the eigenvector. Remember that to find the eigenvector for the eigenvalue lambda one, we need to solve this equation. A minus lambda one times x plus by equals zero. And here is cx plus d minus lambda 1 times y equals 0. It is always possible to find a non-zero solution for both equations, and we call that v1, v2, and that's the eigenvector associ associated with this eigenvalue lambda 1. We also find the eigenvector associated with lambda 2. Now we can start the process. Uh, of doing the first portrait. First, we do a dot in the origin because that's an orbit on its own. We do the plot the point V1, V2, and we connect this with the origin. And we have that this line has two orbits, two semi-lines. And here we label this as lambda one because this line goes with the eigenvalue lambda one and since lambda 1 is negative, then the arrows in these semi-lines, they go toward the origin. We also plot the point uh, W1, W2, that is the eigenvector that we found associated with the eigenvalue lambda 2, and we draw the line. And this line is to be seen as two semi-lines, and since lambda 2 is positive, then the arrows go away from the origin. Then the other orbits, they look like a hyperbola. Remember that the hyperbola is like the graph of the function 1 over x. It's something like, that goes like this. It has two asymptotes here, but what we need to do here is we need to think of this as the four quadrants. And in each quadrant, we need to do something that looks like a hyperbola. But the asymptotes, instead of being the Cartesian axis, are going to be these orbits, these semi-lines. Then we draw something like this. This is, this is going to keep approaching that semi-line. And we do something like here, like this. And we do something like this. And we do something like this. And in order to decide about the directions of, for example, in this orbit, we notice that this semi-line goes toward the origin, this one goes away, and for that reason, the arrows here, they try to match the direction of the semi-lines. Here, they go toward the origin, and the arrows go in this direction. Here, the arrows go away, and the arrows in the orbit also go in the same direction. In this case, this one goes toward the origin, goes away, then the arrows are like this. Here, this arrows goes toward the origin, this one goes away, then the direction in that orbit is like this. And finally here, this one goes toward the origin, this one goes away, then the direction goes like this. Remember, this equilibrium point is called a saddle, okay? This is it.